2D photography is so 2000 and light. Exactly, so that's where we're gonna pump up the photos to 2020. That is right. Hello guys. Uh, is your photos also looking pretty average and dull? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what you could do is add a... Another dimension, another dimension, another dimension, another dimension. So the effect is called parallax or 2.5D since photograph is always a 2D, yeah. so it cannot be a 3D photo. But we're adding a half dimension <laughs> to that photo. And uh, you remember this photo? Oh, I do, yeah. That was the, the flower power freeze photo thing, right? Yes. Yeah. And yeah, it's beautiful as it is now, but mm, can we pump it up? Can we pump your face somehow up? It's <laughs> well, that we cannot do, but we're gonna use that beautiful photo and we're gonna turn it to even more beautiful 2.5D parallax image. So if you want to make parallax images, you need a photo that has something in the foreground and something as a subject and, and then also a background that is interesting. Firstly, I selected the photos in Lightroom and did a light edit to them. Then I exported the photos to my computer and opened the photos in Photoshop. First, I started to work with the background. So I had this photo which had just me in the photo. I used the clone tool to remove me from the background or at least make my borders and the edges of me to vanish. After I did the background, I started to mask myself out of that photo. After that, I opened all of these photos that had pieces of flowers flying around and then I started masking out these rose petals as a separate layers and all of them is gonna be saved as a separate file. Then I opened After Effects and brought all the photos into my composition. Then I started to lay them on the composition and at this moment the photo is still 2D so to make it look like it's actually moving and it's a parallax image, you need to create a camera inside the project. After that, you need to move the objects in the 3D space so that the background is pretty far and the foreground objects are quite near the camera. After that, you can introduce camera movement by using keyframes and camera position in the 3D space. And this camera movement in this 3D space makes the image look like it's actually a 3D or 2.5D parallax magnificent image. And to make it more interesting, try adding some rotation or movement also to the rose petals. Simple as that. Well, that was easy, at least for me. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Okay, you want to see the result? I do, because I'm not doing anything on the show. <laughs> Okay, so this is the actual photo where it started from, so it's okay, but do we want to make it alive? Here's how to make it alive. Oh, wow. Okay. So... I see you, Mr. Valentine. Yeah. <laughs> so by separating the elements, the photo looks much more interesting. Okay, I, I, I gotta say, that is a cool effect. I mean, I, I've, I've seen this, but I actually ne I've never seen how it's done like that and you didn't take that long yeah it was like half an hour that's not bad i mean considering the considering like you went from a photo to something like completely surreal mm. i love i can scrub this chicka, chicka, chicka. <laughs> exactly yeah job's done job is done mm -hmm. well I, i'd say good job on that i i am very much impressed thank you Okay, uh, well, I'll have to see what I can impress you with next time. Mm -hmm. I'm becoming a battle. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, hey, 
So there's always another dimension you can go to in photography, mm -hmm. like this one. If you like this dimension, let him know of how good and amazing he is and share your tips and tricks, uh, whatever else you might find. Because mm. we're still all learning not to be average. Yeah. Bye-bye.